ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to March Beer Madness! This is your championship round! This is it! The two best beers have made it to this round! The championship round! Thank you so much for joining us! I am your host and the guy that rated all these beers to get them into the bracket and then seeded them and then drank them and then figured out which one went on to the next round and figured out which two would be fighting it out for the title of best beer in the universe so far, Sergeant Show. Yeah! Welcome. I am so glad you joined us tonight. It has been a crazy ride. 14 beers started out. Two beers remain. Tonight, everyone, you know how we've done it. We picked the 14 favorite beers that we had. We put them in the bracket. It came all the way down to Warbeard versus Blue Paw. Man, I don't think that I would have seen that one coming. Warbeard versus Blue Paw? Man, okay, all right. For best beer in the universe so far. Uh, you know, we had some heavyweight contenders in this bracket. We had beers from foreign countries. We had beers from all over the United States. We just... War beer and Sea Dog. That's what's left. Warbeard and Cedo. Head to head. Mano y mano. It's a two seed versus a one seed. So can a beer that is not a one seed win this tournament? Yes. Blue Paw has the opportunity tonight. And it comes off a defeat of Guinness that some would say was highly unlikely. Yeah, highly unlikely. But it's here in the finals. And now we drink them right against each other, side by side, and we figure out which one we like better. And the one that we like better is the champion of this bracket, everybody. So let's take three big gulps. And first of all, let's look at the color. Uh, the Irish red, it's definitely darker than the blueberry beer. But the blueberry beer, once again, surprises me with how dark it is. Blue Paw, three big gulps. Way to go, Blue Paw. Portland, Maine, nice beer. Mm. Yep. That's why you made it to the championship. That's why right there. Delicious. Delicious. Mmm. All right. Warbeard. Let's see how she goes. Mm. This is going to be tough, folks. I love the taste of this beer. So many awesome flavors. You get the red ale. You know, like an Irish red, but you also get some stout from it. You get that bitterness. You get that nutty kind of coffee flavor. Then you get that smooth finish. Man, what a good beer. What these two beers, I'm going to tell you right now. If you haven't tried either of these beers, which because they're from small craft breweries, I'm guessing you probably haven't. You need to check them out. These both of these beers are well worth your time. If you don't like fruit beer, normally I'd say still try the Blue Paw because, man, it's different than so many fruit beers I've tried. Trust me on this one. I've tried like 170 beers that I've rated, and then I've tried like a billion more beers besides that. You know what I mean? Okay. Mm. 
different beers. Ugh. Oh, even the mixed belch of that blueberry and the warbeard together tastes delicious. Ooh, maybe warbeard needs to make a blueberry flavor. Nitro last round, blueberry this round, warbeard. Hope you're listening. That is so very close. So, very close. The little brewery that could, everybody. Warbeard is your champion! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls! I'm introducing the new heavyweight champion of beers, Warbeard. What a delicious beer. What a fantastic contest. These two beers were very different from each other, but very evenly matched. Oh, and Warbeard. Comes out on top, the best beer in the universe so far, Warbeard from Walnut River Brewing Company in El Dorado, Kansas. Nice work, boys. This beer's got some chops, I'll tell you that. March Madness, 14 of our highest ranked beers. We drank them all. And we made sure that we picked the best beer in the universe so far, Warbeard. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've had a blast. I've been drinking the best beers in the universe. Why would I not be having a blast? I hope you've had a blast too. And until next time, we are Oscar Mike.